evening and um, but an exciting one the springbok uh, squad uh, has just been announced i have online i have uh, uh, springbok coach uh, jacques ninabe um, and uh, also the director of rugby rashi rasmus um presumingly you would you, you would know our, our rules of engagement um please uh, state to to which person you want to ask your question um and I will take questions by show of hands. Uh, we will try our very best to go. We will we will try our very best uh, to go uh, to eight o'clock and answer as many questions as possible. May I ask you that um, uh, now that you're online, if you can just please uh, switch off uh, both your cameras uh, and your mic, um, and then you can activate it once um, I call out your your name. Um, and, in, and so that you can indicate to who you want to pose your question. Okay, I see. Um, that is, uh, we, we can do something I, I more urgent. Sixty minutes plus. Alleviating the the situation, but uh, and it's not only that. The Hoha is also affecting some of the households uh, in Kashi, especially yeah. Baba Hopani, areas that are, are, are around Hoha. The situation is a nightmare for Platfontein Lodge and Conference Centre. The stinky water is now at their doorstep and is chasing business away. Due to the stench and rising water... <laughs> uh, Ryan, you guys mute. Okay, apologies for that. Let's hope let's hope that that um, will not happen again. And uh, uh, good evening and welcome. Let's uh, let's uh, let, let's kick off with uh, if I can uh, see the first uh, question. And Jan de Koenen, uh, Jan, welcome. And uh, please state to uh, who you want to ask your question. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, yeah, this is for Jacques. Jacques, obviously, a very strong World Cup uh, squad uh, influence. Some exciting new guys. And, uh, and obviously, now there's uh, the A and uh, Bok team and the Test teams here. Uh, how many of these players, or do you have a good idea of which of these are out and out for the uh, Test team and, and which ones are just there for the A team? Um, no, yes, listen. I'll, Obviously, if if you if you look at it, I think if you look at um, the well, we will have to go into training and see how our guys go and how the overseas guys fit into our uh, structures again and how how they pick up the lingo, what we want to do. But obviously, um, being working with him for 22 uh, weeks, law uh, previously in 2019, I mean, hopefully they get into the mix uh, as quickly as possible, and then. Um, they got selected on form and then they have to train well, you know, they have to train well, uh, they have to be conditioned well in our style and what we do. Um, so I would say pretty much, I won't say it's out for the other guys. Uh, you know, if you, go, if you go, I think it would be stupid to say, listen, the guys who played in the World Cup is probably now second best or third best. Obviously, they've been there in the past and they've been playing well. Uh, um, and, and, the, and the other guys, but if a guy knocks the door down in terms of in trainings and the other guy is maybe getting a little bit of entitled, there's no reason why a, a, a younger guy, we don't have older and younger players or senior and junior players. If a guy is performing and taking ownership and producing and the training uh, in the training sessions, I mean, there's no reason why a guy who's, 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 who's now have a, 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 maybe a first cap or haven't a cap, haven't had a cap before, won't won't start ahead. We will probably pick a guy on on his form. But I must say, it, I don't think the guys that got selected who's been at the World Cup is entitled currently. They're playing well, working hard. Uh, when we talk to them in the alignment camps, uh, they're engaging. When we give feedback to them and things that we think they should work on and and, and intervention plans in their games, they, they, they adhere to it, and you can see immediate improvement. So, so yeah, I I, I don't think it can go clear. Yeah, I won't say. Listen, this is an A and a B side. It, it, it is a squad, and and um, yeah, Rasi must come in. Yeah, I think guys will play. They will 
will probably it will filter them out as we go into the six weeks leading up to British and Irish Lions. And as a quick follow up, my last question: uh, If I mention names like Marcel Kutsia, Lisa Gaboko, Kerwin Bosch, um, guys that that didn't make it this time. Uh, can you give us an idea of is there any chance for them to get into the squad given that people have to go into buyer bubbles and stuff? Yeah, no, listen, definitely. Uh, especially a guy like Marcel, uh, uh, all the names that you've mentioned now. Remember, uh, uh, like Rassi said now, Marcel has last played, I think, against Leinster uh, in, uh, I think, the 6th of March. That was when he got injured. So this was literally his first game back in, I think it's now week 13 after his injury. And, and that's the home ground advantage we have with a guy like Marcel playing in South Africa. I mean, he can play next weekend. He can play in the Rainbow Cup final if they make the final. He can maybe play a game against the British and Irish Lions, uh, uh, which will happen on the, I think it's the 3rd of, of uh, July. And, 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 and then, obviously, I think... The one thing that's definitely going to happen, we might pick up injuries, hopefully not in touch with, we don't. But I mean, obviously, guys like that will uh, 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 can still make the squad, yes. Thank you, Jock, and thank you, Jan de Koning. And we go over to Craig Lewis. Craig? Thanks. How's it, guys? Um, kind of on a similar note, uh, maybe, Rossi, if you could just touch on the, the other inclusions in the in the back row, looking at the loose forwards that you, you've brought back, a couple of guys and a couple of newcomers as well, Jasper Visa, just touching on the, the back rows you've included. Yes, uh, yeah, how's it, man? How's it, everybody? Uh, yeah, just to, to latch on to what Jacques saying, uh, I think the most important thing is, is, is for us to understand we, the, the, uh, the, the teams that play against the British and Irish Lions, m meaning now the Bulls and the Lions and the Sharks and so on, they have to go into a bubble or into a, you know, a hot bubble for 10 days prior to them playing uh, the British and Irish Lions. So if we, we, we give a, a player to one of those teams, he's 10 days away from us. So, you know, that will be the disruption. But for us to draft a player in, it's actually a day. So if we get an injury, the player can join the next day if he's got a negative uh, result and he can join us the next day. That's why we are keeping it 46, you know, two squads of 23 till the first um, SAA game against the British and Irish Lions. So um, definitely just on that answer, Marcel, all of those guys, uh, some of them is it is it might be very disappointed now, but there's some strategic thinking about them getting actually more game time for some of them who's been in long-term injuries. I'll, I'll answer your question now. Just to all also answer on that one, you might ask, but how about Erkis Neyman and how about Luit? Why are those guys not first playing? Uh, because they've won World Cups. We've, 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 uh, we've played more than 20 test matches with them. You know, we've won rugby championships with them. We know what we have in them and we know how to get them fit and how to get them in the mix. It's just because we have more knowledge about them. Um, then new inclusions, uh, you know, the two, the two, the two, the two, the Priya brothers are... They've always been unlucky not to make it just because the quality of forwards that they were. Uh, also, the one the Priya brother can play lock for us. Reinhard Elster is in. He's also a nice utility to cover lock and loose forward for us uh, because we are a bit thin on lock, not thin. Not 100% sure how Ergia and, and Lewitt will react uh, till the first test match. Then Jasper, you know, um, lucky for us now. He can play eight, you know, uh, with Dwayne's injury now. You, you can't ignore the form he's in. I mean, he's just he's just been that outstanding, outstanding guy playing, uh, well, South African guy and, and a premiership guy. He's just, he's just knocking the door down. Then Marku, you know, again, uh, um, we know what we have in him. He's played for us, but Shibbert is, again, you know, he, he was two or three weeks, maybe not in the mix uh, uh, because we were so many loose forwards that we thought were fit. But he, he's just been playing really well. So I don't know who I left out. And then the normal Peter Steffs and the CR and those guys are there. And hopefully Dwayne can pass his ankle, which we're all a little bit doubtful about. So um, there's been a lot of utilities. Guys who can play lock and flank. Because even Peter Steff, if we really you know, hit, hit, a, hit a spot, we'll be thin. Uh, so I think those are all the loose forwards. Did I leave out somebody? Yeah. No, I think that's all good. Rusty, if you could just touch on Dwayne's uh, injury, uh, just the scan he's going for. Yeah, he's on his way to, to Cape Town. I personally didn't talk to him. Jock spoke to him and to the medical staff. Um, I spoke to Jake about him. Um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, what can you say? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it looked bad and, and, and Dwayne won't limp off. 
with an ankle, you know, you won't limp off of the field so early. And, and yeah, so are we are fearing for the worst. But, you know, um, they lose players, you know. Uh, we always expected when it's going to be strength versus strength in this Rainbow Cup that it's going to be six weeks of battle. And we know South African derbies are brutal. So far, we've actually been really lucky. If you look at what happened in Super Rapi Atiora and you look at all of those in the Sam Kane, Good You, they have lost a massive amount of, of players. And we thought we're going to go the same route. Um, touch wood, hopefully next week in the last round, we don't lose a lot of players. Uh, but we expected some big losses and I think Dwayne is going to be one of them. Thank you, Rossi. And uh, moving on swiftly, we're going of, over to Leeton Koopman of Rapport. Hi, Rossi. Hi, Jock. Um, Jock, talk to you for you. Um, the two toets are what up. Um, how can this gesplit word in game time for the Owens what you will have international spiel tijd moet kry um, uh, voor, die, voor die drie toetsen? Uh, ek dink soos Rasie voorin gesê het, jy is Rasie, jy moet inkom hier, maar ek dink ons gaan ons beste, ons gaan ons beste ouwens kies, jy weet ouwens wat uh, on, vir ons wat nie um, blootstelling aan, aan internationale rugby gehad het vir so lang tyd nie, jy weet, ek dink is belangrijk vir ons om, om ons ritme te kry, om ons conference te kry, uh, so ek dink ons sal um, die beste ons, ons sterste span kies, wat ons kan kies, en na Georgia toetsen. Uh, maar ook, kyk, luister hier, as, uh, ja, as ons sal nie, as hy ou niegel het, of so, as hy ou nou mooi kyk, maar ek bedoel, ek dink, ons sal vol sterte, die, die best team available, sal, sal ons kies vir die twee gaat. Uh, Jack, as ek kan aansluit, ek kan, het was een Afrikaanse vraag, nee? Ja. ja. Uh, sorry, as ek kan aansluit, uh, uh, ek, ek, ek dink, Jy weet, ons, 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 ons het kon nog net nie vir die spelers 100% vertel het, want niemand geweet wie is in die groep nie, maar ons wil die, by die alignment kampen al so bykie laat deerskemer vul. So jy weet, ons, allemaal weet, ons het nog nie baie saam gespeel sinds die World Cup af. So, jy weet, hierdie drie weke, soos die spelers nog gaan invloe na die kampen toe, jy weet, ons het in hierdie week 6 spelers, dan van volgende week af het ons 25 spelers, dan aan die week na het ons 32 spelers, so, hulle gaan bykies, bykies invul per so, ons wil bitter graag in die Georgia span, ons beste moendelike span, van kies, juist net vir cohesion, saam met spel, kyk hoe klik die manne, hoe verstaan die ou manne mekaar, en miskien die tweede Georgia game as well, om die selle te doen, en dan die ouwens twee lekker games onder die belt, ons kan lekker baie contact rugby speel, ons het 46 ouwens, um, ons wil kyk wanneer kan ons die beseerders inslot, en dan wil hy ook gaan in die SAA span game, en dan miskien daar so wil jy jou vriend spelers, die ouwens wat moer na, wat baie na is in die span, wil jy dat speel teen uh, uh, weet, in, in die SAA span game, en, en dan het jy nog sien wat jy, jy het jy na SA Aspan game, dan laat gaan jy een paar ouwens terug en laat speel in die Curry Cup en vir die provincies en dan los jy nou rarig die squad wat dan net oorblij daar. So, so dis min of meer die plan. Um, uh, ek hoop het antwoord jou. Ja. Baie dankie Rassi en um, if I can just uh, uh, plead to everyone that had a, a chance to ask the questions, if you can lower your hand please so that I can just keep, a, keep an updated track on uh, people who wants to ask questions. And then, um, per, uh, Percy, I know you ask a question. And then, Percy, we will sort uh, a little bit uh, longer Afrikaans questions for your benefit towards the end. But I think uh, for, for the benefit of everyone now, let's stick to the to the English section. And then we, I will make sure that there's a there's a decent pause of, uh, portion of Afrikaans later on. So uh, moving on, we um, following next question is Hein. Good evening, Hein. Um, hi guys, um, nice to see you again. Um, Rossi, I just wanted to make sure, um, I mean, I mean, the re release is pretty emphatic, but just, just for clarity, these 46 guys are now pretty much sort of out of the rest of the Rainbow Cup, right? And um, has the buy-in of the, of the franchise has been, you know, pretty positive in that regard? Uh, yes, look, it's not, not easy when you're a franchise coach and you you know your, your, your Springbok players who's in this 46-man squad is not going to play for you in the Rainbow Cup final. Let's say the Bulls or the Sharks goes through and they play Benetton or they play Munster. They're going to play without the Springboks. And, you know, uh, they understand it. We always mention it from the, from the beginning. It's not nice for them. We had good discussions about it. They understand it. Um, and then when they play against the British and Irish Lions, 
the, the, there might be situations, and that, and it will be case by case, but I, I think it will be a very rare occasion that we might say, oh, this player, we need him some game time. Maybe we must release him for the Bulls game. But the problem there is you lose him, you lose him for 10 days because they have to go in quarantine or, or, or bubble for 10 days because they play against the British and Irish line. That's just part of the contract. So um, that's a more logistical thing. But if we really see how this, this boy needs game time, you know, he's not sharp, we, we're not... We don't think he is where he should be. That would be a surprise because we've been all over them with all alignment camps and everything. So in theory, it might change if there's common logic with some players where we see how this guy needs game, game time. We might release one or two, but we have to suffer the consequences of not having that guy for 10 days of coaching. So in theory, no one will play in the final of the Rainbow Cup out of this 46 and no one will play again in the midweek matches against the British and Irish Lions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Rasi. We go over to Karabo. Hi, Karabo. Can you hear me? Okay, we move on. Uh, next question then, Nick Simon. Hey, guys. Um, five five Sail Sharks players in the team. A bit of an Anglo, Anglo-centric question, but just can you talk about you know how, how impressed you've been with Sale Sharks and it's quite um yeah that's, that's quite a haul for them. Uh, Nick, I, I'm, I'm going to start the answer and then Jock can full on because you know Felix and and and, and Andy, uh, the first conditioning coach. Uh, Andy was Harrison's previous conditioning coach. He was based in in London. He's now in South Africa, and Felix was all the time there. Um, the, you know the nice thing about the sales setup is that. Uh, um, there's a, there's a lot of South African guys who who's played and who's been in the mix. And now with Jean-Luc and, and his brother in the mix and Kuni also in the mix. There hasn't been always a lot, but it's guys who we, who we think is in sync, guys we have access to, guys who plays regularly with Fof. You know, when guys are playing a game plan and you have to rely on a nine and and, and you're into a Springbok squad. So think about it, Jean-Luc and, and Luet, and let not, let's not say Luet, let's say Jean-Luc and Dan and Kuni. They're three new guys, if you can call it like that, in the Springbok match. But the, the most, they must jump together in the lineups and scrum together. And then in general play, they, they must mix with Fof. You know, so it makes sense for us in that regard. And especially because we feel the high performance program at Sale is really good. So in all, probably, look, it, it's terrible to lose the players uh, because we just don't have the money. We, we desperately want to keep them. But when you lose them, you lose them to a setup like that, where there's a lot of other South Africans and they coach well. Well done to Sale and well done to them. And I think there's a few guys that's unlucky, you know, like uh, Acker, you know, I think Ruan Janssen von Rensburg, uh, he was injured at one stage. So there's still a lot of boys that can one day make it in the next two or three years. But we're very chuffed with what's going on at Sale. Thank you, Rasi. Next Yo, one is uh, over to Ken Bolin. Thanks, Ron. Uh, hi, Jacques, Rasi. Um, this actually probably just sort of follows on from there. Um, is there a danger that, I, I mean, obviously it's great to have the, all these overseas guys available and playing well, uh, but is there a danger when the guys who most of the South African public have probably not seen play? Uh, for for a long time, um, who are being chosen ahead of guys, say uh, a Lisa Koboka, a J.D. Schickling, that sort of thing, who who are really doing well locally. Is there a danger that the South African public maybe, you know, you, you, you're not going to get them behind these guys who they just don't know? Um, yes, let's, uh, Jockey, can I answer this one? Uh, so, um, I th was it Ken? Eh? Ken, I think um, the big thing is, you know, I think the only guys people would not know is maybe Niklas Janse von Rensburg, who moved over to Montpellier really at a young age. And he's here for a specific reason, because, you know, our line-out calling is Franco von Amerwe. Oh, Franco, Franco Mostert, and, 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 you know, he's one of the only fit guys, really 100% fit. You know, Eben is not a five lock. We have Marvin Ori there, but one injury and we are a bit in trouble. So I think everybody knows Jean-Luc, everybody knows Dan, I think everybody knows Kuni, and I think, so I think there's only one, and people might not know Reinhard Elster as well, but they do, they the, the um, European Cup winners for the last two years and top pro, top 14 winners. So the, the danger is nothing that we can prevent. We can't afford them. 
you know, so um, uh, the wonderful thing is, is look at the locks of the bulls that's coming through, you know, look at the scrum offs that's coming through because Kubis and Fof is left, look at the two sharks scrum off that's coming through, uh, um, you know, JD Sikerling is, uh, by the way, injured again, you know, so... Um, He's injured. He did play well. He's injured and he's also leaving. I think he's going to play in Japan. So he's also uh, abroad. I, I think, you know, if we could have it, we would love to have everybody in South Africa and play here. But the upside from that, and we have to look at the upside, is that all these young guys now came through and we picked a, we, we picked quite a good bunch of them. I think it's 23 abroad players and 23 local players. So, And I, I think the only two local or abroad players that people are not really familiar with would probably be maybe Reinhard Elstead, but I don't think so. And then maybe Nicolas. I think people should associate with them. Uh, and if they're not, hell, I, I think when they play well in the Springbok jersey, people will uh, appreciate them. Jan, I think Thank you, you latch on to uh, yeah. um, as you mentioned about JD that's injured, uh, Lizo is also injured. Uh, so, yeah, he, um, he was at the alignment camp in a boot. So, something they're checking out. So, both of those two guys are currently, uh, uh, um, they, they were both injured, yeah. Thank you, Jack and Rassi. And the uh, next question uh, goes to Lloyd Bernard. Good evening, Lloyd. Hi, uh, how's, it, how's it, everyone? Uh, Jacques, j just a word if you can on, on the inclusion of Mornay Stein. Was it uh, an absolute no-brainer uh, given his form uh, in the country over the last little while? Um, was it just a selection that made sense even if it was perhaps a bit tough on a guy like Cohen Bosch? Uh, yeah, Lloyd, I must say, um, you know, the, the big thing we were looking for there was, was probably consistency. And I think if you look at uh, the probably consistent... Um, uh, most consistent uh, fly-up, I would say, uh, since after COVID in South Africa, it was probably Mornay. Uh, look, uh, um, uh, not to take anything away from Kerwin, I mean, his X factor, factor is phenomenal. And uh, listen, he can he can he can win games for you out of nothing. But but I, I and I think as he, I mean, he's only 23, you know, and as he grows a little bit older, play more big games, play in Curry Cup finals like he did uh, uh, um, this year, playing uh, playing in the Curry Cup final for the uh, for the Sharks against the Bulls. And as he played big games, uh, uh, you probably get more consistent. And, uh, and and I can see him play a lot of test matches for South Africa. Thank you, Jock. And the next question goes to Liam Henney. Hi, folks. Question for both of you there. I'm just wondering, just a bit of housekeeping. How, how many hours would you have spent in, in making the selection? How long did it take you to reach a decision? And on top of that as well, following on from last week where you said you expected that Warren had something up his sleeve and he expected it wouldn't be a battle of attrition when you guys meet. What do you think Warren will make of the squad you've just announced here now? How do you think the Lions will react to it? Um, Liam, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to ask you first, uh, first, a uh, second question first. You know, um, I think because he selected his squad, and then we might have listened. To be honest, with you, if you, um, if the picked a different squad, we might have made two or three changes. You know, we wouldn't have made wholesale, ch wholesale changes if we picked a little bit of a different squad. So um, I think, you know, if you look at our squad, you'll see the bulk of the of the 33 men, of the 30 players available at the World Cup is available. But I, then I think you will see that, hell, we do have a Yapping, you know, you know, Chesley and Mapimpi is fit and Willie is fit, but we've got a fussy now who can fill in there. We've got Pink, we've got Roscoe Speckman who's got some X Factor, we've got some Milani there, you've got Chase who can play center and wing, you've got Franz Stein who can play 10, 15, and 12, you know, you've got Pollard who can play 12, you've got Damon who can play 12, so you've got Anu Amba, that's a more uh, Herschel like type of uh, substitution, not a very I wouldn't say he can't play tactical, but a more instinctive player. You know, we've got an explosive Jasper Wies in the mix. We've got some strong Dupree brothers in the mix. So I think um, he, he would know the players. I think his coaching staff would know the players. Uh, I don't think they, they'll at all be sent out. This is, a, this is a squad that's awesome and we have to be really nervous about it because they've got a squad that is really competitive. Um, I, I think it's two teams that we've picked now and he's picked that uh, the only thing that I meant last time when I spoke, you know, they've got eight, eight, eight players, 
from Scotland, or eight players from Scotland, and five of them are backs. And and Gregor is a is a is, is a backline attacking coach, and he's all out attack. You know, you, when you play Scotland, it's like joy. It's like the friends of old. So that's the only thing I meant with that. So I think the two squads, if you compare them with brunt and, and grit and guts and and soft touches and hands and vision, I think it's it's, it's a quite nice comparison. Okay, and just in terms Thank of how see, and the squad picked, so how many hours did it take? Oh, sorry, 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 Jockey. Listen, guys, we've been doing this because we haven't played for 18 months. We've been doing it for 18 months. You know, every week we, we call it a roadmap on every single player. I think there were 64 in the beginning, which we do weekly a roadmap. So it's been 18 months of weekly analyzing, sending clips through and making a document which a player receives. And yeah, I mean, I think all, all professional teams do it. So it's since we've stopped that we, we've started again. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Rashi. And our next question goes to Fatima. Fatima Said. Hi, good evening, um, Rasi and Jacques. Um, this question is for either of you. Um, I, I, there was a large number of uh, familiar faces that you obviously selected in the squad and there wasn't a, a shortage of younger players. So um, I noticed that Rasi, you gave a lot of the players exposure or a large group of players exposure to international rugby. So I wanted to know if the reason behind that was to add a column of depth, um, because it definitely did add some impressive uh, depth charts in your in your selection. Yeah, um, I think Jockey will will echo that, and you know we, we won't change this in the next couple of years. I'm still of it. Until we we've got a proper until we can consistently stay there, number one, two in the world. You know we. The, our, our strategic goals will always be win, and I know Jacques said it to you guys the other day, and 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 uh, transformation, squad depth, and experience. You know, while we're trying to win, we're always trying to build that. The nice thing that we're having currently is is that that for some reason we are building international, as you say, international experience and depth because of the way. Our players are spread all over the world, you know. Uh, um, and then we had that green and gold game where we really got to know some of the guys like Nuamba and those kind of guys. Um, we're not even talking about a guy like Warik Galant who's injured, Salman Murat who's injured. Uh, those kind of people's not sharing who's bad luck. Like, we probably have the two eights that were going to be in the mix like Dwayne and those guys. So I think you're spot on. Um, I think that the trick will always be when do you experiment at test match rugby? When are you 100% sure that this this player is now ready? You know, if it was maybe last year where we would have played Scotland, Scotland, Georgia, and then in going to uh, you know rugby championships. Now we're playing uh, uh, Georgia, Georgia, but hell, we haven't played together, so you wouldn't want to experiment too too much. But I think you hit the nail on the head. We are we are in a fortunate position where, for some reason, we are getting to those three three strategic goals. And I hope that answers your question. I don't know, Jock, can you answer it better, maybe? You're happy. Thanks, Fatima. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. And uh, we go now over to, before we go uh, to uh, Percy for the Afrikaans uh, sector, uh, we have a question for, from Radio Rugby. Yeah, sure. I need to mute. Okay, um, we move on. Uh, Leighton, do you have a follow up question before we move on? Mine is work Afrikaans, Ryan. So, uh, okay, let's keep on. Thank you. Yes, can keep I, on. Can I Oké, okay. Rassi, um, jy, het, jy het so kort verduideliking gegee rondom die situasie met um, Conal Hendricks. Um, Jy het, jy het genoemd as medische redes om, om uit, te, uit te sorteer met hom, jy het al in gesprek getree met hom en, en sy vert, verteenwoordigers. Um, is het een kwestie van, is er rugby se eie medische departement moet eers ook na die situasie kyk, want hy het reeds in die verlede sy eie dokter gehad wat hom die groen licht gegeet het? Ja, uh, nou hoor, is, is een vital vraag, en ek wil, dis iets wat ons, ons ons kop oor krap die laatste, en nie, nie in een lelike manier nie, uh, uh, weet, uh, Cornel, 
is vir baie goed in aanmerking. Ek bedoel, ons wil hom graag in die Olympics wil wat sien speel, um, ons wil hom graag in die Brits en Ierse Leeuws wil oorweeg, na dit sa rugby championships, einde van die jaar toe, en dan volgende jaar is dit Wallis. Ek wil al soveel rugby wil voor en toe, um, maar ek en Jack, sy wil van ons kan daar vir hom onthou, um, ons kan nie, ons, alhoewel Jack nou gekwalified fysio ook is, kan ons die mediese besluit in neem, jy weet, soos as een speler een mediese conditie of een concussion het of so, moet hy gekleer word uh, uh, dier ons mediese spandokter op die ouwe en voor hy vir die spromogel kan speel, of voor hy vir die sevens kan speel. En daarom, met sy vorm waar hy was, jy weet, ek bedoel, ons allemaal weet, as jy squat van 46 um, announce en Cornel is hier daar in nie, dan is daar ander rede behalwe, uh, jy weet, allemaal kan sien, hy speel skit in rugby. So ons was met hom in een oproep gewees, uh, 10, 12 daar terug, mooi met hom gesels, weet, ge, met hom gehoor hoe keen is hy nog om te speel, die man brand om te speel, mooi vir hom verduidelik, die oomlik wat ons hier groenlig klein, dat ons hom kan kies, uh, wat, wat uit en eind, um, um, een persoonlijke medische situasie is, jy weet, so ek wil nie ingaan, ek het nie, ek, ek kan nie, ek het nie die recht nie, dit is sy persoonlijke info, en, en, en hy weet waar hy staan met ons rugby gewees, so ons, ek en Jack sit eindelijk maar net in wacht, totdat ons amtelijk hoor, die groenlig is daar, ons kan die man alweer oorweeg, Niel Pels sit in wacht, so, um, dit is baie goeie gesprekke gewees, en, en ons hoop om het so gauw as moendlik te kan uitsort. Hi, thank you, Rassi. Um, we will then, um, uh, that conclude our English section. We move uh, on to the Afrikaans section and uh, ons gaan oor na Persie van ETV, Jenis. Hi, thank you, Rassi. Um, Goeie naansie, um, um, Jacques, Rassi. Um, Jacques, my vraag gaan hoofdzakelijk aan jou gerig wees. Um, um, en Jacques, kan ek jou vraag, um, uit die standspoor uit, ek nou heel tijd gehoor, jy het praat alles oor die span keeses, die 46 spelers in die video wat gekies is om een land te teenwoordig. Kan ek om hy nood aan vraag vir jou, um, um, Jacques, as ons nieuwe gezicht van SR Rugby, die nationale africhter meneer, hoe voel jy oor die groep spelers wat nou uit jylle saamgestel het meneer? En kan ek jou vraag, gewoon ek die verlede, was altijd gepraat oor, as een nieuwe africhter inkom, wil hy sy stempel afdruk op een groep meneer? Ons weet wat gebeur het in die aanloop tot die wereldbeker, Wat gaan jou plan, wat gaan jou wedstrijdplan wees, wat is jou visie vir hierdie spurmbokspan? Want ons sal reeds een jaar en een half in, 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 in hierdie, in, hier, in jou sogenaamde vier jaar termijn, vanavond het een nieuwe era begin, meneer, waar sien jy die spurmbokspan gaan? Hy gaan kiek en chase, precies al, kiek en chase. <laughs> <laughs> kiek en chase en die. Nee, precies, nee, nee, um, uh, op die eerste vraag, um, die begin van alles, jy is die ex baie excited, jy weet, oor die, uh, baie opgewonde oor die, oor die squad, en soos, soos ons, soos Rasje gesê het, uh, vir 18 maanden, uh, is dit wat ons doen, jy weet, ons kyk rugby, ons kyk hoe die ouwens uh, 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 speel, en, en dis ek om ek sê, ons het een baie goeie, ek denk dis een ding wat ons eindelijk baie goed gedoen het, was ons vinger op die pols gehou van, van al die spelers in termen van, van hoe hulle speel, en met hulle interaktie gehad, en clips deurgestuur, uh, wekeliks, met hulle gesit en gesels, miskien nie, ek sal nie sê, elke week nie, sommige, as ons ouwe moes op, we voel ons met ouwe op scratch kry, dus wekeliks met hom gepraat, maar dan so, een keer een maand ingecheck met ouwe, jy weet, luister jy, uh, dis hoe jou game nou is, mo- uh, jy het goed gedoen om in die aspekte te werk, so, uh, opgewonde, want ons werk al so half oor een afstand met hulle al oor een tykie, um, en oor, oor uh, hoe gaan ons dinge verander, jy yes, um, is, yes, ek denk die eerste ding, wat ek sal doen is, as ons, op, as ons nou weer in kamp kom, jy weet, ons het, ek denk, iets soos 570 dae, en, en ek weet, dit is glad die verskoning nie, met glad nie, soos Rasi in die begin gesê het, yes, dis, ons is klaar met die verskoning, maar ek wil eerst net, op, na 570 dae, kom ons kry allemaal net eerst weer op die selle bladseid, waar was ons laas in 2019, amper een realiteits uh, uh, toets doen op, luister jy, waar is ons, net met ons taal, jy weet, wat noem ons een skipaas, wat noem ons, want spelers vergeet, jy weet, hulle speel vir Seil, hulle speel vir Toulouse, hulle speel vir Toulon, hulle vergeet by die bokke een skipaas neem, so, ek, ek dink, in die begin sal ons, be, ons sal weer by die begin, maar moet begin, uh, Percy, maar, ek glo, uh, met, die, met die klomp ondervinding wat ons daar het, en soos Rassie gesê het, uit die groot uh, uh, groep van uh, wereldbeker spelers, waar daar is, hoop ek dat, dat die uh, vordering wat ons sal maak, uh, sal, sal vinnig wees, jy weet, omdat daar so goeie basis is van 2019 al. Uh, en, en so ek sal sê, eerste doelwit sal wees, kom ons, kom ons, uh, kry eers weer ons fundamentele goeikies, fondaties weet nie, net weer in plek, en uh, op standaard, en dan kan nou enige tyd daarna besluit, en, en sien of jy wil in die veer, en waar toe jy wil gaan, en waar trek jy wedstrijd nou, en dan kan nou van daar bou. 
Coach, kan ik jou, kan, kan jou vraag, Warren Gatlin het met die aankondiging van sy groep, het hy so onmiddellik sy toerkaptein aangewees, is SIA Coalitie nog jylle nationale kaptein, is SIA Coalitie nog ons nationale kaptein? Ja, ja, 100% per se, ja nee, het is nie, um, ja, ja, ons het het nie, nie genoem nie, maar ja, niks het verander nie, ja. En dan ook, dan, ek heb eens een laatste vraag he, wat is die laatste vraag? <laughs> ek het altyd duisend vraag, maar nie toe my die vraag my laatste vraag aan Marian. Um, coach, kan ek nou, kan, kan ek nou vraag, um, soos ek, um, jy, jy het gedeeltelijk verduidelik wat die logistiek gaan wees oor die volgende paar weke voor jy die eerste wester gaan speel, net kortliks Afrikaans, wat is die plannen nou voor en toe, en, en, en hoe brei jy nou voor vir die volgende paar weke? Ok, ja, so het wees, ons gaan in kamp in Moore, uh, in Bloefontein, en ons gaan drie weke in Bloefontein wees, um, en uh, die kamp, die, die kamp gaan die eerste week Ek dink, ons begin maandag met 6 spelers, woensdag het ons 8, v- uh, vrijdag het ons 10, so soos die spelers uit hulle, uit hulle competities en uit hulle clubs uit uh, beweeg, dan kom hulle rechtheid by ons in kamp in, en uh, week 2 sal ons uh, groot groep, ek dink ons sal amper, uh, twee, uh, ons sal amper 30 spelers hee, uh, in week 2 en in week 3, uh, sal ons miskien bykie meer as 30 spelers hee, uh, en dan, so dis die eerste drie weke in Bloefontein, dan vir uh, ons vierde en vijfde week, wanneer is die in Georgia speel, uh, sal ons opbeweeg na Johannesburg toe, dan sal ons in Johannesburg uh, laar trek, en daar begin voorbereid vir die Georgia toetsen vir week vier en vijf, en dan week zes is dan die uh, SAA span wedstrijd, uh, tegen die Britse en Ierse Leers, en dan week zeven is die eerste uh, uh, week, tegen die, uh, vir die, die, is die, sal die toetsweek wees, of die opbouw van die toetsweek uh, uh, tegen die Britse en die Eerste Leeuws. Ryan, kan ek dat Rassie, laatste vraag, alsjeblieft? Ja, dat is, ja. Antwoord. Rassie, ek maak klaar. Rassie, ons nog gister gesien, hoe, 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 hoe deftig en hoe hard die, die Afrikaanse spelers tegen mekaar speel, hulle wil die nog steeds een punt bewys aan julle as, as besluitnemers. Is daar een risiko dat, dat julle dat meer van julle sogenaamde senior of um, voorkeer spelers kan verloor as gevolg van beserings en is dit, is dit enigszins bekommernis vir julle in die aanloop toe die rewester wat voorleid? Nee, het is, plus jy, ek gaan vir jou jok, die oomlik toe ons gaan kracht en kracht in die Rainbow Cup gecancel, was die gewone Rainbow Cup waar ons gespeel het tegen mekaar een rond te hees, want anhoor hebben we drie games tegen mekaar, dan so ons oorgeveer twee weke in quarantine gewees het, en dan so ons gespeel het, ek weet nog drie games daar, maar jy so ook een game tegen die Dragons gespeel het, een game tegen Edinburgh, en jy so nog twee weke in quarantine ook aan die kant gewees het, so dit so heel te mal een ander schedule gewees het, as jy maar net denk wat die spelers daai kant nou doorgaan, jy weet hulle speel kom ons sê die monster speel, hulle speel in Connick, Leinster en, en, en Alster, en dan speel hulle, het sê nou maar een rustige game tegen ja, weet, die Dragons of wat ook al so, en ons ongelukkig nou, of gelukkig nou, afhangende, want partij ons maak het dier hierdie moeilike tyd, en hulle kom net aan die ander kant beter spelers uit, daar is een paar wat die mens kan noem, huidiglik in Zuid-Afrika, maar dit is ook local derby, springbok proeven, en met, dat, dat, die, met ons net die stats, kijk het super raak by Atiora, waar, ek, ek bedoel Sam Kain is beseer, ek bedoel uh, Goodyear is beseer, die, die, die aantal beserings wat jy krij, sê kracht en kracht speel, um, week in en week uit, jy kan nie spelen rust nie, jy weet, daar is nie rarige tyd, elke wedstrijd is een moed wen, want jy wil boon nie lok eindig, so, ons, ons het het verwacht, um, ons het stuif duim vastgehou, dat het te veel ernstige besering gaan kry nie, uh, daar was nog nie te veel nie, maar, maar baie ook iets loop moet, baie senior spelers loop moet, moet niggels, so ek dink die eerste paar weke van, van volgende week, of na die laaste game, wanneer, wanneer ons gaan ons nie meer in die final speel van die Rainbow Cup, he. dan gaan ek dink die eerste week of so gaan rarig net eerst wees om ouwe so te reassess wat sy niggels hy het en so, so dit is een gevaar, maar aan die ander kant, jy weet, wat wil jy beter is ouwens wat gewoond is aan fysische rugby en mekaar op, dit mekaar fysisch te gaan die heel tyd, want dit gaan toch een groot deel van die, van die leeuwtoer wees, maar sonder twyfel was, ons is elke naweek nogal kwaai nervous alweer. Dankie uh, Rassie en Percy, ek hoop dat uh, voldoen aan al jou behoeftes. Ons sluit af met de uh, laatste vraag uh, van Steven Nel van Netwerk24. Baie dankie jylle, ek, ek waardeer dat jylle ons te woord staan. Um, ek kon net um, Ons praat nou van die ouwens en jy weet soos byvoorbeeld Dwayne wat nou seer gekry het en wat redig een groot issue is. Um, is er enige punt om ouwens nog hierdie komende naweek los te laat met die ouwens net jou jylle terwille van nationale belang net allemaal onttrek nie en, en na gesprek met Zuid-Afrikaanse rugby uh, ouwens kom ons doen dit kom ons doen dit vir Zuid-Afrika of, of is dit nie uh, 
een realistische gesprek om, om, om op te hoop nie. Nee, weet jy, Steven, en, en, en ek hoop jy Engelse mense kan hierdie deel ook verstaan. Ek, 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 ek gaan om Afrikaans verander. Ga jy omgees ook om Engels aan antwoord, want of wil jy om Afrikaans hoor, vir, is dit alright? Misschien het tyd beleefd, het sal we al by, en dan, ja. dan kry jy boodskap aan allemaal oor. Ja, so first of all, Steven just asked, is it not worth asking all, all the franchise coaches, can't we not withdraw this quarter 46 from the last game, uh, just with the national interest, uh, you know, at heart? Um, it is, and it would be nice, but you know, Stephen, uh, I've been there on the other side when I go to Stormers and the Cheetahs, and you know, there's coaches under pressure with families and, and contracts and performance clauses and stuff like that. So um, uh, it, it, it sounds very easy to do it, and I'm on your paw, I'm, and I, I'm, I'm with you in it, and I, and I think we can, but we we just wouldn't, because uh, uh, we feel it's unfair. We just ask them to, uh, when the schedule quickly changed from Pro 16 being the competition where we were going to play a player uh, teams from abroad, we quickly had to make a plan when we saw this is going to be a double round trial matches for local players, power, strength versus strength. We quickly had to make a, a plan and just say, please rest your 46 the players that's in our alignment camps, please rest them all one game. And that already put a lot of coaches under pressure in terms of, you know, more nice staying at the rest here. You know, some guys who didn't even make the squad, we asked to rest. Now you can you can think what a, a local coach think of how you asked me to rest this player and now you don't even select him. But that was just because of a short term um, decision making when the Rainbow Cup was cancelled. So in theory it makes sense, but it will be very unfair on on, on coaches and on, on players and on franchises and on their sponsors and their their goals. Om vinnig in Afrikaans te antwoord, Steven, is a baie goeie punt wat jy het, dat mens kan vraag, sal jy ons asjeblief die 46 speelers ris vir die laaste game? Um, uh, ek dink dat dit sal lekker wees, maar ek was al aan die ander kant wat hy ook kon sê, luister jy so, uh, hoor jy so, uh, sit springbokke ter harte, maar jy het een familie, sê een franchise coach, jy het borge, jy het jou partners of jou, wie die owner wat verwachting het, um, jy kan moendik in die Rainbow Cup final speel, so, um, ek verstaan ook om mense die vir die ouwens kan vraag nie, en ons het nou klaar vir hulle gesê, ouwens gaan nie in die final speel nie, en elkeen moes een van die spelers wat in ons alignment kampe was, geris het vir een game te minste, en selfs van die speler wat vir een game geris het, het ons nie eers gekies nie, so um, ek moet sê die samenwerking was great gewees, en ek dink, alhoewel het een great theorie, theorie is, en ek stem saam met jou, dink ek, dit sal bykie onrechtvaardig wees, maar uh, goeie punt. 